now and then hopefully in the future i'll stop trying to uh blame the game for my own personal insecurities in life so that should be really great <laughs> oh i see okay so it just automatically sucks up the juices and by juices i mean gases what is up guys Malik here and today we are back in action playing some osiris new dawn now uh last time it was pretty derpy i spent like five hours playing the game and uh <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to do stuff. I apologize for the derpiness, but uh, I've learned how to play by now, so that's pretty good. I'm also level 2, which is sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and start a world. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stick up the multiplier, and I put the resource modifier and the resource recharge all the way up because uh, I, I don't want to have to be going thousands of miles out to mine things. Uh, and I actually played for a couple hours after the video and searched around the map for, like, hydrogen and gases, and I could not find anything. So today's goal is we're going to try to figure out how to get freaking gases. I don't know. Apparently, they come from geysers or whatever. I'm not exactly sure. Also, we can get multiple points we want. I could do five points per level. That'd be crazy. Um, we could just test it out. Like, we could do it. Let's see. Player proficiency mod modifier. Uh, normal times two. Sure, why not? I don't really care, to be honest. Um, let's just go ahead and get started. Now, they're supposed to be geysers, like I said. But I don't know, like, what they look like. I mean, you would figure a geyser would be pretty obvious. Um, but I, there's also supposed to be caves, too. I couldn't find any caves. And I found, like, five different craters, all with the same stupid giant worm, death worm, like, sandworm thing. And uh, also, it says day one every time. Also, if you're about to die, seriously, if, if this is a pro tip. If you're about to die, just exit out of the game and rejoin. You'll be in the exact same spot. You'll have full health. Full hunger, full everything. So, yeah. Um, I've done that. <laughs> the game has some bugs and some issues that uh, I hope get fixed over time. For right now, I'm going to take advantage of them. Uh, so, yeah. We have a chemistry table. We made that last time. But we don't know how to get hydrogen or pl or uh, yeah, hydrogen and chlorine or any sort of gases. Now, I did get a bunch of carbon. Carbon is something that you can mine, which seems very weird that you can straight up mine carbon. But whatever. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Also, there's berry trees. Uh, you'll see trees around the thing, and they, they have berries, and you can harvest them for berries, which seems kind of strange as well. Um, you know, I would actually like to know, I feel like this game should have, like, a menu that shows more detailed uh, stats of the planet you're on. Like, I would like to know what the atmosphere is made of. I'd like to know the gravitational, uh, gravi uh, gravity, like the uh, the amount of downforce and shit or whatever, whatever the gravity thing is called. And then I would, I would like to know a lot about the planet and, like, that kind of stuff. Because apparently there's other planets that you can go to. And it'd be interesting to see the diff different atmospheres. Like, you know, we might have a, this might be a methane atmosphere. That's like, and it's extremely freaking cold or hot or, you know, whatever, you know, something like that. Anyways, I, I, I have mined a bunch of stuff. We have some carbon right here. We have some gold. I found some gold, which is sweet. And then we have a bunch of stuff right here. Actually, I thought I had more stuff in here. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, no, no, yeah, this is great. This is right. Yeah, so I got some plutonium. I got all my stuff back. We got a bunch of aluminum iron. And then I made a crap ton of steel. We have like 50 steel and we have like 10 glass. I need to make another, another shovel, which we'll do that here in a second. And we got Mr. So I, um, I looked at... I looked at some of the names that you guys posted, and I feel like <laughs> I don't, this guy's a jerk. And I feel like I'm going to nick name him something else. Let's nick him. I'm going to name him Dickhead <laughs> because it's funny because his name actually changes every like every time you restart the the game, the the name changes. Also, if he dies, that's one thing I noticed too is I actually had him die at one point. Uh, he just comes back every time you reload the game. So that's kind of weird. Anyways, I feel like the game, you know, they, they uh, said the game was hard. The game isn't hard at all. The, if you guys haven't played this yet, this game is not hard at all. There's nothing hard about this game. It's actually really easy. The hardest part is the grindiness of uh, getting the resources. Um, that That is the hardest part. The enemies aren't hard, which, you know, I don't have that much experience in the game, right? So, uh, yeah, I don't really know that much about it. Just from base of the experience that I have so far, but the game is pretty easy. Um, you don't you don't really have to worry about oxygen. You don't have to worry about anything really. Uh, water, food, because food and water drains really slowly, which I appreciate. I don't want this to be like uh, Don't Starve or The Long Dark or any of sort of like rogue light um, experience. Even though you know you come back or whatever in this, but you know, like The Long Dark and Don't Starve, you don't come back. Uh, if you die permanently or whatever, unless you have like a resurrection thing and don't starve. Anyways, you have to really worry about the survival elements, and I don't want that for this game. You know, I don't like, I don't really like games like that because uh, I don't have to worry about. I like to just like build, relax, have fun. You know, kind of do whatever I want to do. 
you know, kind of like Ark. Ark is not a hard game. Ark is a very, very, very easy game. Uh, and this is also a very easy game. It's just, it just kind of grindy. You know, I just want to explore the universe and have a great time. Anyways, guys, we are going to uh, continue doing our thing. And I'm going to try to find a geyser with hydrogen. I don't know what I need. Also, apparently, they changed the recipe for... I was looking through the patch notes. They changed the recipe for... Let's see. Barrel. Uh, where's the barrel at? I don't know. They changed the recipe for barrel, so it didn't need... Oh, barrel. I think barrel's in the um, the chemistry table. But yeah, let me search around. We're going to look for hydrogen and that kind of stuff. Because without hydrogen and chlorine... I can't do anything. I'm pretty much stuck at this point forever without that, without that. Actually, maybe that patch that fixed the barrels hasn't came out yet because they also said that they made it where you can like turn this, uh, use this stuff right here, or maybe it was just the invert Y. I don't know. So maybe you can't actually, maybe that patch isn't out yet. So I'm not exactly sure. But it seems like my options are saving. I don't know if they saved before. Okay, guys. So I found some gold a little bit ago. So I have a bunch of gold, which is good. I'm actually going to probably have to throw out some of the gold. But I have found uh, we are about... What is this, 900? Nine, oh, we were actually heading back. I didn't even realize the fog had me like turned around. We were almost 1,500 out. And then I thought I was still going straight, but I guess I got turned around. But yeah, one thing I don't like about this game is the aspect of finding this stupid hydrogen. Because I have only crafted like three items. And I already need this. And I've been searching for this hydrogen uh, for about three hours total. Uh, after the first video, I searched for a couple hours. And I've been searching now for about 30 minutes to 40 minutes. And um, I found it, which is good. But I feel like hopefully in the future as they develop the game, they'll have alternatives to get some of the same things. Uh, because I'm used to playing things like... I don't even know, like... I guess like Factorio. But I mean, Factorio is easy. Uh, you know, it's it's not about finding things, it's about the automation of things. Or maybe like modded Minecraft, where mod Minecraft, depending on the mods you use, there is certain, a couple different ways to achieve the same thing. And that's what I'm kind of looking for right here, because, I don't know, I just, trying to find a single thing just so I can get past, like, basic elements of the game, doesn't seem very good. Now, how do I actually get hydrogen? You know, I never, I never really got this far. Multi-tool. Okay, let's, can I bottle the hydrogen? No, it looks like I can't actually bottle the hydrogen. How do you get hydrogen? Also, I need chlorine as well. I wonder if... So, they probably are just like ore nodes right here. So, I'll probably find other gases exactly like this. They'll just be different types of gases like chlorine. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. We're back at base, right? There's a barrel. The barrel requires rubber. Rubber requires us to get hydrogen and chlorine. But the only way to get hydrogen and chlorine that I can actually figure out right now is we need a barrel. So we need something to to be able to get something that we can't make because we need it. Um, so yeah, this is a classic circle scenario that sucks. Now, one thing I kind of hope they do in the future is maybe in the future we can break down water into like hydrogen and oxygen, right? Like we should be able to like do something like that as an alternative to finding geysers. Like geysers would be good uh, setting up kind of like a... I, I, I'm going to compare it to like an oil pump scenario, even though I realize, you know, something to collect the gases. I know oil is a liquid or whatever, but you guys understand some kind of like gas collection station that we could go and retrieve the gases from. It would store into a tank like we could hook up pipes and then like a whole tank situation. Like I really I really want to do this kind of like you would do in uh, like modded Minecraft where we could set up pipes that go into storage containers and we, we could kind of like add as many or as little as we want and then we could set up uh, put up valves and then the valves could be like directing to different areas of the base depending on what we need like we could have like a hydrogen power uh situation or something you know all that kind of stuff like i want to do that kind of stuff like a like a 3d factorio or something or you know something like that i don't know uh but anyways my point is is i can't i can't get the hydrogen so i i don't really know what to do really i don't know how to collect the stuff maybe hmm i i don't know how to collect the stuff so i'm gonna try to figure it out i guess i'm sure it's obvious you guys are probably screaming at me that it's obvious but i don't know i just don't i don't know okay guys we're back so i uh <laughs> the, 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 uh the update just happened uh barrels no longer require rubber i don't know if i've left in the rubber part where i was super pissed because i couldn't figure out how to get rubber a uh, rubber and i thought it was an endless loop of not being able to get rubber because we need something to get rubber that requires rubber to craft it. I have no idea if I kept that in. Uh, but uh, apparently there, there are these things, these mystical uh, beings called rubber trees that exist in the world. You know what's really funny is last video, someone left a comment that said, there are rubber trees. I was like, nope. 
<laughs> I was like, nope, that's stupid. There's not rubber trees. And then apparently there, there actually are rubber trees, so I apologize to you. Uh, anyways, <laughs> it requires copper and steel. So... We should have steel, right? Yeah, yes, we got plenty of steel. Let's go ahead and grab all of this. And then we're gonna head back over there, get a bunch of hydrogen, and then we should be able to, I'm also gonna try to find chlorine as well. What the hell? Let me get inside of the stupid thing. Okay, we'll get, grab the steel. Actually, does it still weigh a lot? Yeah, I guess so. And then we needed, I think it said copper, right? Yeah, so I don't know how much these barrels weigh. I don't know how much of the hydrogen we can carry because of the weight of the barrel, but Anyways, let's go ahead. Where's the barrel? The barrel's right here. How much do you weigh? Okay, so we have four barrels. So I don't know, like, let's see. Source gas. I mean, how much gas does it store? That's what I want to know. Let's let's make six. Can I make six of these guys? Let's go and six. I used all of my stupid steel. I shouldn't have even done this because this is a horrible idea. Okay, so I've used all of my steel. We've made six barrels. Follow me, jerk. Okay, actually, you're not named Dickhead anymore, are you? Okay, it's, we'll name you... Uh, we're gonna give you a new name right now. Let's let's name you Oompa. There we go. Uh, so now you're Oompa. You're an Oompa. Okay, so we're gonna head. I think it was this way, guys. So let me head back over to the hydrogen. We're gonna. I'm gonna see if I can figure this out now, and then hopefully in the future I'll stop trying to uh, blame the game for my own personal insecurities in life. So that should be really great. <laughs> okay, so I've made it. Oh my shit, Lord balls! Oh my god, holy shit! Oh my god, crab monster. A freaking crab monster, guys. Holy shit. Oh, he's dead! I don't know. I don't. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where, where do we. Uh, the uh, patch tape. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh my god. I love how this tape just fixes, magically fixes everything. Also, I love how their body just like morphs into the ground. Like it just melts. Anyways, oh, this is chlorine. Okay, that's really cool. So, let's go ahead and try this out. Let's, uh, let's put some barrels everywhere. Uh, so three. Let's get out three. And then let's, uh... Oh, I see! Okay, so it just automatically sucks up the juices! And by juices, I mean gases. It automatically just straight up... Oh, no, 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 you have to left-click. Okay, it doesn't automatically suck up the gases. Oh, you have to left-click. So it holds 100, which is actually pretty good. Okay, so let's grab this. So this is chlorine. Uh, it didn't actually change the weight at all, really. It made it one heavier, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead, let's fill up half of the barrels with chlorine, and then we'll do half the barrels with hydrogen. And then I guess I'm going to work on getting even better, uh, more barrels in the future, because it feels like getting as many barrels as humanly possible is going to be good. So three is going to be chlorine, and then we're going to do three as hydrogen. Uh, so let's just go, I'm going to... You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that. I'm going to stick the map right there. Okay, so let's go find uh, the hydrogen, which I thought was over this direction. I mean, I need to make freaking beacons. I need to make beacons. That's what we need, guys. We need beacons because I want to be able to, yeah, build beacons to add more interesting points. I need to be able to mark these chlorine and hydrogen locations. Like, I know the general area, but, okay, I don't, I don't even remember where the stupid hydrogen was, really. Uh, maybe it was down this way. Maybe we, if we keep going this way, I'll find the hydrogen. Also, I still don't know what the rubber trees look like, if they even exist. They're like a mythical legend, like a dragon. You know, appar you know, apparently there's dragons in this game. There's not actually dragons in this game, but just bear with me, guys. Apparently there's mythical dragons in this game, but, you know, I've played it for 700 hours and I haven't encountered one yet. So, you know, the big selling point of the game was the dragons, right? And there's no dragons. Also, that th this is a hypothetical situation. I realize that there's no dragons in this game. I'm just saying if there was, you know, and then, you know, you couldn't find them or whatever. You know, you can actually get around really fast in this game. Uh, when I first started playing, I, I didn't uh, use the jet boots, really, or, like, the jet pack or whatever the hell this is uh, very effectively. But, I mean, if you use it good, you can really get around and you can travel pretty fast. Uh, I was actually, I mean, it kind of sucked because I, I moved around so slow. I was like, man, this game sucks. Oh, that, look over there because of how slow it is. But, and then, the, uh, combined with the fact that you take, like, zero fall damage no matter how far you fall, which I haven't test, tested this with extreme heights, uh, but the jet boots mixed with uh, the, the no falling damage, this is actually, I mean, I'm moving, I'm moving really, really quickly. Uh, so, I'm going to meet you guys over here, and as you can see, look, I'm, I'm falling, zero damage. That's perfect. That's, like, absolutely amazing. Hopefully, this is hydrogen or some other gas. If it's another gas, then... I don't... Oh, we need to make a gas tank, too. Like, we need to be able to... Oh, that's going to be really cool. I... You know, that's actually a cool system where you can load it up in barrels and then store it in a tank. And then I think in the future, the gas tanks can actually be used to, like, fuel things. Oh, hydrogen! Yes! Okay, nice! Perfect. Okay. 
I don't think this is the exact area I was at before, uh, but I'll, I'll remember where it's at now, so that is absolutely perfect. So we got 100 hydrogen. Nice. Let's go ahead and throw that down. Is that... Okay, no, yeah. It only adds one kilogram or whatever. Um, so, yeah. Oh, then also it fills up down there in the bottom right. That's actually pretty cool. And I like that they're designated by different colors. You know, it kind of makes, uh, makes it easier seeing what you're doing. Uh, but we're definitely going to need far more gas in the future. I'm going to have to make like 15 barrels or like 20 barrels and just massively collect gas, I feel like. But I need to bring my robot friend. I told him to come with me, but he like got lost or something. It's whatever. I don't know where he's at. He'll come back once I restart the game at some point. Uh, but I'm going to meet you guys back at base. Oh, guys, this is cool. We just found oxygen. Okay, so we found chlorine, hydrogen, and oxygen. I'm making a bunch of beacons. That's the next thing we need to do. We need to make storage tanks. We need to make some more barrels. And then we need to make beacons. Oh, it's right. Oh, dude, that's like right beside our base. That's awesome. Okay, yeah, that's absolutely perfect. Um, so, I'm going to, yep. Okay, so let's see what we can make right here. So, uh, we don't need any of this stuff, right? Uh, let's go into utilities. What is it for these large gas tanks? So, steel, copper. We have steel. We have copper. We have a lot of steel. We have a lot of copper. Well, we did have a lot of steel. Uh, and then we have rubber. So we probably want maybe like one. Wait, I wonder if you store the barrels in there or if you straight up store the gases. Because if you store the barrels. No, because the barrels can probably just straight up go in here. Yeah, the barrels can. Yeah, the barrels can just go in there. So you probably store the gases directly, which would make sense. Uh, so yeah, we can make a bunch of gas tanks. We're probably going to make maybe about four. That would make the most sense. Now for rubber, we have hydrogen, chlorine. Man, this we're actually not going to be able to make that much, are we? plastic okay so what do we need add this stuff for i keep forgetting so we need large gas tanks of course uh then i also need to make a fabricator so for this we need two pieces of plastic so let's make sure that we have the plastic let me grab everything else that we need uh aluminum uh and then i think that was it right oh no we needed carbon as well yeah we need carbon and then i think we needed copper didn't we need, did we need copper titanium do i not have any copper Oh, wow. I have, like, zero copper, guys. Holy crap. Do I have copper in here? I have a little bit of copper in here. Okay, so, uh, we're completely encumbered, but that's... Hey, what's up, man? Oh, you actually followed me back. Yeah, we'll have you We'll have you stay. Also, I need to figure out how to get him to mine. I tried to get him to mine the other day, or I guess yesterday, and he just was having none of it. So, uh, yeah, he just wouldn't mind or do anything. So, so, we need two pieces of plastic. Okay, perfect. And then we need to make a fabricator. So we have aluminum, we have that. We just need, oh yeah, plastic. Let's get the plastic. Let's stick the plastic in here uh, in our backpack. Yes. And then let us make the fabricator. Perfect. Okay, so we have the fabricator. Oh, it goes right in the middle. That is really cool. Okay, so we have a fabricator, which is good. I'm very glad. I'm very much more happy now that we're actually progressing. Okay, open fabricator. So this is where we make wire. So we need gold, which we have lots of. We need rubber. Uh, gold, lithium. We don't, we don't have lithium. I haven't found any lithium yet. And then a glass container. Okay. And then this is where we can actually make an assault rifle. Dart gun. Special weapon that fires dart projectiles to stun enemies and also tame creatures. Hell yeah. Okay. And then batteries. Okay. Taming creatures is amazing. Um, okay. So let's see what we need to make now. Let's go into furniture. Uh, an oxygenator. An oxygenator automatically supply oxygen to a pressurized habitat. When you enter a pressurized habitat installed with an oxygenator, you will start replenishing oxygen regardless of your suit's condition. Okay. Bed. So we need a bed as well. So we need rubber. Why does a bed need rubber? The climate controller. You know, I feel like oxygen and climate isn't something that we really have to worry about right now. Maybe it's not fully implemented in the game because it seems like we have, uh, uh like unlimited oxygen and then seems like temperature doesn't even matter but maybe that depends on the location maybe if we moved around the map and oh you know what we need let's see computer desk climate controller uh storage uh, storage locker would be very useful so we need three rubber for that uh actually i kind of want to make a storage habitat this is going to be like for our machines and then i'm gonna think we're i think we're gonna have something off the side actually speaking of that let's go right here let's make uh let's open up the multi-tool um, I think we needed rubber, right? We needed rubber for this. So let me let me get rid of no. Nope, let me get rid of this. No. Nope. Okay, guys. Well, I accidentally pressed G uh, and deleted the thing. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to like. Why? Why do you press a single bl a button to delete something? Why? Why is that a thing? I mean, I was inside and I accidentally deleted the whole habitat, which lost me like three hours worth of progress. So now I'm gonna have to like go get a bunch of materials. 
and do this all over again. So yeah, I'm a little irritated because we lost the chemistry table pretty much. We lost the airlock because you get no resources back. I wish you got resources back when you could you could like un unassemble them or something. And we lost the fabricator and we lost all the walls. And then I'm gonna need to get some rubber because we're gonna make a couple couplers on here. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start this over again, guys. Okay, rat guys. So I actually had to look up what the rubber trees looked like. And uh, we're pretty close to the base, actually. It's just, like, right up that hill right there. Uh, the rubber trees are these things. The giant, like, mushroom-looking tree things. So, uh, I actually just went and got a bunch of hydrogen. And I was like, screw this. This is going to take forever. So, uh, yeah, this is a rubber tree. Nice. So, I, do we just hit it? Yeah, okay. We just straight up get rubber from hitting the tree. Okay, this is going to make my life so much easier. Uh, I don't know if the... I wonder if the rubber tree lasts forever. Like, can we just get rubber forever? It actually does not weigh anything, guys. So you can, like, straight up mine as much rubber as you want. This is amazing. This is going to make everything way easier. Uh, they did change. Obviously, I mentioned this before, but the update did remove rubber requirements for the barrel. So it's not as important uh, for the barrel anyways, but it's definitely going to be very useful. So I'm just going to fill up my inventory, guys. Up until it says I'm overweight, that's as much rubber as I'm going to get. Even if I have to make a separate bin solely dedicated to rubber, this is exactly what I'm going to do. So yeah, giant mushroom tree looking things. Uh, pretty easy to spot, actually. Um, so yeah, awesome. Holy shit, it's a giant crab monster! Oh, I just now murdered the crap out of it. Also, the rubber tree does seem to uh, drop the rubber as well, so I just, like, oh my god, it's soup breach. <laughs> Holy hell, okay, I'm having, there we go, we're good. Uh, so yeah, like, look at all this rubber where I hit the tree so many times. I don't think it should drop the rubber, uh, and kind of, uh, <laughs> give you rubber at the same time. It seems kind of weird. Also, it's very weird that there's a rubber tree that just straight gives you, like, perfect, uh, square rubber pieces. <laughs> I don't know, it just, it just seems kind of strange. But we have a lot of rubber, guys, like, a, a lot of rubber. Can I scroll down? Is it gonna let me? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, the amount of rubber we have. Yeah, I'm just gonna continue filling up. Okay, so I think we have everything we need. I'm gonna build a couple couplers here, just so we can expand in the future. Uh, we have unlimited rubber now, which is very good. Let's go ahead and make a coupler, like, right here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, now, I don't know, I think maybe the couplers have to have airlocks themselves. Do they have to have airlocks themselves? Oh, no, they don't. Okay, they do not have to have airlocks. Okay, that is very convenient. Uh, let's go ahead and build a normal, another coupler right here. Now, I have them going off at angles. Uh, so, it kind of sucks we had to rebuild this, but the good thing is, is, I mean, I guess I could have just destroyed walls before. That's the way it was supposed to work. Um, but, I mean, I guess we found rubber in the process, so that's good. Anyways, we could also build some, I guess we could build some hallways right here. Let's see, what do we need for hallways? So for hallways, we need plastic, iron, and steel. Okay, we're pretty much out of steel, which is fine. Uh, we need to rebuild all of the crap inside of here. Why is my backpack still over encumbered, man? Just let me inside of the stupid building. Oh my god, guys, I didn't even realize he's actually going. What he's doing right now is he's going to ma uh, mine magnesium. I put him in his little zone where he mines, and uh, he just dropped off magnesium uh, back into my depositories, which is amazing. Uh, this is really, really cool. So if I make multiple drones and have them set up, I didn't even realize this, but if you have the, yeah, 16 out of 50, that's what he just stuck in here. If you have them uh, set up at different mining areas, you might be able to actually get unlimited resources. So they're kind of like little, little workers that you would see like in StarCraft or whatever, which is crazy. That's really, really awesome. Uh, anyways, uh, some of you guys probably already knew about that. By the way, the game is out now, which you guys have probably realized as well. Okay, guys, we're back. So, I have fully, uh, <laughs> completed rebuilding everything now, uh, which is good. I'm gonna go ahead and make, I think I'm gonna make a storage locker right here, actually. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and see what this is like. I figured at least having one storage locker in the workroom would be really good, just to have all, like, the, uh, resources we need up close and personal. I'm kind of curious, how big is this? Open large crate? Okay, so this holds actually quite a lot of stuff, which is very, very good. Uh, and oh my god, that is so loud. That is so loud! Get out of here! Oh, okay, I finally killed all of the bastards. Um, so we should be good now. Let's go ahead and head in here. Uh, now what I want to do is actually, I want to build a, uh, a vehicle station. as fat, uh, a living structure where you can build personal interior items like a bed and a shower. Yeah, I want to build a laboratory, I guess. So we need to start gathering the materials for that. So we need 32 steel, uh, 20 gold, which we have, uh, lithium, which we don't have, and diamond, which we don't know, have. I don't know how we get lithium and diamond, but 
we need to figure out how to make circuit boards and wires. So let's go ahead and come in here. So wire is pretty easy, actually. Uh, so how many how many of those did we need? We needed 10 wire. Okay, so we make 10 wire. And the circuit board, it needs lithium as well. So we need to get lithium and diamonds. Uh, but this actually doesn't look like it would be that hard to make. I just need to find the lithium and diamonds. I'm assuming you mine them like everything else, or I, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Um, but... I'm going to work towards that, but okay guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, I'm going to look for lithium and diamonds off camera, and then hopefully uh, we can start off next episode with finding either one of those or both of those. So the next, the goal for next episode is now that we've kind of have some things and <laughs> so we, we fixed some problems and figured out how to play the game a little bit more, we're going to try to make a laboratory. That way we can start getting some vehicles, and I have a feeling the game really opens up once you get vehicles, uh, because I noticed there's like different types of vehicles so maybe one will help us they can carry a lot of stuff so we can go out and get around faster and then actually carry a lot of things with this so it makes mining trips a lot easier and maybe there's even a vehicle that mines i have no idea i don't know anything about it uh but yeah maybe that's the thing uh, but anyways hopefully uh people will learn how like what rubber trees are where the rubber trees are because i've seen a lot of questions where people are like how to get rubber or you know how to get hydrogen people can't find hydrogen that kind of stuff so yeah hopefully this helps out guys and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one.